Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will apply the distributive property of multiplication with the factor four. Let's start with four times 12. Four times 12 means four rows of 12. Let's look at an array. We have four rows, one, two, three, four. Four rows with 12 in each row. Now, what if we cut this array in half? We have two rows on top, plus two more rows below, which will make four. So instead of writing four times 12, we can say two plus two, so two rows plus two rows times 12 because each row has 12. That means that we have two rows of 12 on top and two rows of 12 below. That's because we distributed the 12 to the two rows on top and distributed the 12 to the two rows below. We're simply sharing this 12 with these rows, with these two rows on top and distributing this 12 to these two rows below. So we have two rows of 12 on top plus two rows of 12 below. We know our doubles. We know two times 12 is 24, which means that two times 12 is 24 again. We can add 24 plus 24 and that equals 48. So four times 12 equals 48. The product is 48. Let's try four times seven. That means we need one, two, three, four rows with seven on each row. Now we can split this array in half with two rows on top and two rows below. So two rows plus two rows. Now we are going to multiply that by seven because each of those rows has seven. So on top we have two rows of seven, below we have two rows of seven. That means we distributed or shared the seven with the two rows on top, and we distributed the seven to the two rows below. Again, let's look at this array. We have seven, and we distributed it to the two rows below, and we also distribute the seven to the two rows on top. So we can write two rows of seven plus two rows of seven. We know our doubles, two times seven is 14, and we have two more rows of seven below, which is also 14. 14 plus 14 equals 28. So four times seven, it has a product of 28. Okay.